Okay, so this is a video demonstration of my lesson four, which involves students creating three-dimensional box models of shearing the rams. Now in this lesson, students will bring their own square cardboard boxes to class, and they will be using glue, scissors, and A4 colored prints of shearing the rams, which will be supplied. Okay, so this is a box that I prepared earlier, um, and as you can see, I've removed uh, the top and also the front panel. Um, so this is basically what will be required of the students um, to do when they bring their boxes to class. Okay, so this next section involves uh, the students getting their prints of shearing the rams and cutting out the each of the main figures um, that feature in this painting. So it is important that the students take care when they're cutting out each of these figures that they try and keep the rest of the picture intact as much as possible in case we do use these uh, other sections later on in our models. Okay, so once the students have cut out each of the figures from their Shearing the Rams prints, uh, it will also be advised of them to cut out cardboard copies as well, just so that they can stick the flimsy paper ones onto the cardboard um, and give their figures a little bit more stability when they're putting them into their models. Okay, so as you can see, I've cut out um, my paper print and I've also cut out a cardboard backing uh, piece to give my print a little bit more stability. And I've also left just an extra bit um, down the bottom and I've folded that under um, to give, uh, to, well, to create a lip in order for us to stick the image down into the box when we're ready. Okay, so once the students have cut out each of their figures and applied uh, cardboard backing to them, their job is to install each of these figures into their box uh, according to how these figures are represented and positioned in Shearing the Rams. Now they can use another printout of Shearing the Rams uh, as a reference or a guide in order to do so. Okay, so this is basically the finished product. Now the students' versions might be a little bit more detailed. This is just a very quick version of this activity. The students might also like to illustrate or paint the sides and backs of their boxes according to the tones and colours used by Tom Roberts in his painting of Shearing the Rams. But basically this activity deals with the important aspects of three dimension and space, which are important art elements found in Shearing the Rams, but are also found in other works by Tom Roberts.